hi and welcome to another lesson in our series on get and get out for beginners once again i'm dr onya obed and in this lesson i'm going to teach you what are the various hosting platforms that you can use with git and what does it actually mean when i say hosting platform so let's get into it when i explain what git was and explain the two types of uh, git we mentioned all at the high level i even used the version control system so the two types of version control systems that i mentioned was the centralized and decentralized version control system and i kept in both cases i mentioned that there is what we refer to as the remote repository or a central repository as we termed it that which is far away from you that you push your code to okay so this this particular one there are now websites that are available or platforms that are available where you can push your code to so these are the platforms that we are referring as hosting platforms for git so there are platforms that are git enabled remember i said git is a technology that enables you to do what source control or version control as we call it so there are platforms like these that have been optimized for such purposes so that when you are writing your code and your code is on your computer you can still keep that code okay or that versioned code on a separate remote computer that is on that particular platform so this is what we usually refer to as the remote repository and the platforms that are allow us to do that examples of these platforms are GitHub. so we have github we have GitLab and bit bucket so with github it is used solely for git git related products right so if your code has its source control technology to be that of git then you can use github for that purpose but the same as git lab so git lab 2 is git enabled but bit bucket can be used for both git and mercuria so whether you are using Git or you are using Mercurial, you can use Bit Bucket. And in our next lesson, we are going to look at GitHub. We are going to narrow down to GitHub because that is what the most common one and it's free to use. So we are going to narrow down and learn how to use GitHub to host your Git enabled code or your source controlled uh, code, which is being controlled with Git as the underlying technology. I hope that makes sense so essentially if you are asked what github is github is that platform that you are going to use to store or create that backup of the code that you are working on so that anytime that you need it or even when you are away from your computer you can still have access to the code that you are working on i hope that makes sense and you're enjoying the series if you like the videos give the videos a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you are yet to and i'll see you in the next video bye bye